Alright, we're back, and... During the break, I just noticed something. I never noticed... It shows just how good this Frame Meister is. I just gotta look at Peach's eyes here on the screen. It's like... Like, pinkish-red... Irises with... Shit-brown sclera. It's creepy. It kinda reminds me of Gambit. <sighs> Always finding new things about this game. I would still like to know... Just what's on the bottom of some of the bombable floors in those pots? I just can't help but wondering. Anyway, let's go down here. If you wanted to warp to World 5, this is how you do it. I remember finding the secret on my own. I remember having some next-door neighbors. Josh and Jeremy were their names. They'd always stick around with me. And it's like saying, Oh no, you're not really that good at games. You couldn't find shit on your own. And what do you know? I found this on my own. <sighs> trying to remember if there's a... There's a thing here or not. to check real quick, because I kind of got all the maps downloaded, just in case I run into trouble. I really shouldn't, because I've been through this game so many times, but let me just check real quick. And it doesn't look like there is. It's just the warp zone down here. Okay, that's what I figured. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled game. It's also a quick way for me to load up on some coins. Give me some coinage. Extra lives are your friends in these old games. That doesn't change, ever. Even though, of course, having lives is kind of an outdated thing, relegated mostly to Mario and Sonic games these days. You know, how's Sonic doing these days? Is Are they really trying to focus mostly on that Sonic Boom bullshit? Like I said, I don't have a Wii U, so I never got to play it, so... I don't know if it's really worse than 06. But... I don't know. It was great, it looks like it was... I mean, it looked like Sonic was doing great for a while. I mean, he was bouncing back, I mean... Unleashed and Black Knight seem to be steps in the right direction. And then Sonic 4, Colors, and Generations turned out to be big crowd-pleasers. Now where the hell is the... Is it... Where's the thing? Alright, over there. Okay, I know there's this shortcut to the boss that way, but... You know what? I'm on such a nostalgia kick. We're going through the whole game anyway. Might as well go get it. Oh, sh shit knockers! No, 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 we're dealing with this asshole first. Ah, Feric victory. I'm Midget Princess. Huh? Where the hell? I'm probably gonna die here. Oh sh fucking dancing flower of death. Like I said before, extra lives are your friend. Go away. Oh now I get a heart. Oh thank you. Fucking gardening. You can't climb up the ladder with the damn... Oh, that's just peachy. Oh, wait. Alright. No, no, no. We are getting that damn mushroom. 
Even if we have to go all the way back... ...for this one. And you're back. Asshole. Ah, oh, no, 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 I got your number. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting me... Oh, well, that was almost a disaster. Don't forget, the pink ones come back. Boom! We're done. Yeah, see me evade that shit? Oh, come on! That is bullshit! Well, at least the thing can't follow me now. Okay, I deserve that. And he deserves that. Alright. D. Alright. Nice! Ah, but when you're losing... Feels like that one episode of Pawn Stars, where Chumley drums some valuable quarters into the slot machine they didn't have the key, so the old man had to... Keep trying the slot machine. Yeah, Pawn Stars, one of the few reality shows I like. The other is American Pickers and... What was the other one? Oh yeah, Fast and Loud. I remember when I went to visit my uncle in Gainesville last Thanksgiving, and Florida got fucking annihilated by Florida State. There was a consolation plot. An episode of Fast and Loud that came on after the game was over had them restoring a 68 Mustang Shelby. Nice. And now, little masked midgets riding ostriches, because why not? Gotta remember where the mushrooms are in this one. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Go away. Well, that was neat necessary anyway. Nice. Is it here? Let me consult the map real quick. Yes, it is. I love this game. I've gone through it many times, but you can't remember everything. And I'm doing an LP right now. Don't really have time to waste, now do we? Is there one in here? No, that's elsewhere, that's... Okay, ne yeah, now it's coming back to me. Bomb here... free to carry over the POW block for whatever good that does. I mean, it's it's clear, so why not? Ah, uh, that's why the satisfaction of... Oh, oh well, two out of three ain't bad. Now go away. bunch of bullshit that way. And... I'm just right. Boom! Now this is where... Ah, crap. Uh, 
Can I, can I? Yeah! Nice. Saves me a lot of time. Come, having to come back and... Got Sonic's progenitors down there. Sorta. Of course, this game came out, what, three years before... Well, not three years, technically five years, because I think Doki Doki Panic came out in 86. Or was it 87? I don't know. I know... What we know is Super Mario Bros. 2 came out in 88. 88, that was a good year. That's when we also got the American version of Fantasy Star, and... I think that's when we got a Ford Bronco 2 that finally had, like, fuel injection and shit. Yeah, good times. Oops. Oh well. Gambling's bad for you anyway. Is this... Are there albatrosses about to come and drop a bombs? Yes, there are. Oh, shit. Can I take this with me? Ooh, even the POW is backwards. <laughs> nice. Now, why did later games take away the bombs' arms? Uh, yeah, I remember this level. This one's fun. Let's wait for the, just the right time. Come on. Let's get some other enemies on the screen. Boom! Still no heart? Ah, bullshit. Oh well. Start scoping this place out. No, this isn't where I need to be. Or maybe it is. I think this leads to a dead end up here, but let's find out. I'm pretty sure the other- Oh, there's the one red sniffet in the whole fucking game. Knew it. And it's at the- The one red sniffet in the entire game. <sighs> and it's at a dead end. This piece of shit. Get out of here. Yeah, get out. Well, at least I finally got the heart. And you die. Because I say so. Woo! See where it is. Come on. Ah, okay, okay. This is only a safe time consoling match because I know it's got it. I know it's got to be in this room, but I'm not sure where. And this just saves me time going in and out of doors to get the potion back. All right, now I know exactly where we need to go. Ah, oh, almost a double. All right, now we got these red shy guy generators. Kind of like the oh, shoot. Kind of like the things in Yoshi's Island. Speaking of Yoshi's Island. <sighs> For the longest time, I associated the Shy Guys that had propellers as being introduced in Super Mario 64, but then I remembered, hey, they got them in Yoshi's Island too, that's where they first appeared. Oh, oh, okay, that was stupid. That was just... Fuck. Tar. Dead. What am I doing? What am I doing here? 
This keep going in one direction. Maybe eliminate some of these assholes in the hopes of getting a heart. Whoa, whoa, thank you. Oh shit! Ugh, easy come, easy go. Ooh! Fail! <sighs> All these years later... Fucking Phantos, still the bane of my existence, still causing me headaches, still causing me nightmares. Just look at him, it's like, ugh, the evil version of the mask from V for Vendetta. I know it has a specific name, but... Okay, how many other princesses do you know that can bounce big-ass keys on their heads? Oh, please still be there. Come on. Kiss my ass goodbye. Kiss. Fail. See, it's really noticeable when she squats right before she charges up. I mean, she's a brown sclera and pink eyes. It's creepy, actually. Suddenly, my eternal love for Princess Peach is beginning to wane. This... Whoa! I might as well keep going this way. I mean, there's nothing... I really don't see what could be the other way. I got both the mushrooms... Oh. Fuck it. bullets at me? You go down there. You die. Ooh, please let me have enough cherries for a star. Whoa. in here today. But to be fair, in my defense, this is when the boss levels start to get really hard. This is where you really kind of got to step up your game. Boss here. I think it's Mouser again. Ah, oh, really? Oh well, you die, you die, and you die. Yep, it's Mouser. Now that Sparky isn't going to be here for very long. Don't you 
Don't you just love how the enemies in Mario games just give you the ammunition with which to defeat them? I mean, for me, the most brazen example had to be Yoshi's Island. I mean, the final boss. Big ass eggs come floating by on balloons. And you can use them to shoot the big ol' Bowser Koopa coming at you in the background. I mean, where were those eggs coming from? And once again, nothing. Oh well. Wow, it took me almost 20 minutes to get through World 3. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video here, and then we're taking on level 4 next.